Uh, hello, uh, welcome to uh, Ingenierong Cowboy uh, YouTube channel. Sp uh, specifically in the project uh, construction and management uh, learning sessions. Okay, so we are now on learning session 3 which is the construction pre-planning. Okay, so pre-planning guys is uh, very important in every construction project. So, okay, so this is where we we started our plans. Okay, so we we make uh, meetings with the owner and contractors. Okay, so this are, this is where we we laid out our plans. Then uh, explain this one. Uh, if you are a contractor, explain this one to the owner, and if you are the owner, explain what you want to your uh, contractor. Okay, so. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, planning. See, so what is planning? Okay, so planning is an art. Okay, so we will know, guys, how important planning uh, in every activities that we are uh, doing. Okay, so next is mm -mm, planning is an art. Uh, art of planning exist only among uh, human beings okay then for good planning uh, intelligence and experience are uh, necessary okay so especially in the construction industry it is very important that the one who are making plans has the uh, intelligence and experience so that that plan will be work in actual okay okay so pre-planning stage uh, establish uh, establishes and determine the direction and success of any project okay so that is part of the planning okay so number one uh, in pre-planning stage uh, the construction superintendent should be included in the consultation at the very start of the planning stage. Okay, so we all know that the uh, construction superintendent, uh, superintendent is the one who are handling uh, jobs in the site. So this is very important that uh, he or she uh, will be included in the uh, very start of the planning stage. Okay, so number two, uh, make job breakdown into components. Okay, so if you make uh, your activities into components, it will be easier to uh, manage. Okay, so that is why we need to break the jobs into components and plan that one thoroughly. Okay, so we have to remember guys that uh, the number three also is to prepare a construction plan then number four is take advantage of the new tools so what are these new tools uh, if uh, today we are on the computer age so uh, example drawing okay so before uh, drawings are using uh, manual so the 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 CAD or the let us say the draftsman uh, uses uh, let us say take pen or ball pens in, in drawing but now they are using uh, AutoCAD or computer aided drafting to do the drawing for them. Okay, so which is uh, an important tool, especially in engineering uh, AutoCAD. Okay, so we have to take an bad, uh, advantage of that uh, tools. Okay, so we have to remember uh, to remember that owners of the company uh, when we plan. Uh, owners of the company when we plan to achieve a uh, profit okay so then number two for the employees okay so this is the uh, two things that we need to remember in planning guys okay 
Then number two is for the employees to create and maintain uh, jobs. Okay, so number one, we have for the owner of the company. So we need to establish a, a methodology so that we can lesser the cost so that the owner will be happy because of the savings. While number two, uh, for the employees, uh, you have to let us meet the target so that you can uh, create uh, more jobs and maintain jobs to your existing employees okay so if you are not doing well and if your project will be uh, not doing good so maybe now the owner uh, will decide to cross cost or let us say uh, uh, decrease manpower okay so you have to we have to remember these two uh, items in planning Okay, so there are four different dimensions of planning. Okay, so number one is a uh, philosophy. The number two is uh, integration. Number three is process. And number four is the collection of procedures. Okay, so these are the four uh, different dimensions of planning. Okay, so. We have to remember these uh, dimensions, especially if uh, we will be uh, in the future handling projects or let us say we become a manager. Okay, So we have to remember what is philosophy, uh, integration, the processes, and the collection of procedures. Okay? So this is very important, especially in the, in the world, uh, world of construction uh, projects. Okay? Okay, so 3 does 2, we have uh, the project manager, okay? So, project manager. A project manager is actually the central figure in the project, okay? So, if you are in a project business, uh, usually if there are problems, the project manager are the one who will be called, okay? So, in any partnered agencies or data as a government, if there are uh things that they need to clarify to a certain project, the project manager will be called, okay? Okay, so the project manager also bears the ultimate responsibility, okay? So for the success or failure of the project, okay? So that is why uh, effective manager is very important uh, in the uh, construction business because he will be the one to uh, leading okay, the project into a uh, good standing. Okay, so often function in an environment that is beset with uncertainties. Okay, so usually uh, project managers will encounter a problem. So that is why uh, managers needs to be experienced and, and uh, patient also in doing her or his uh, decision okay so we have to remember guys that the project manager's mission okay is to plan okay number one you have to plan okay so you will be the head so you will you, ha you will have to plan then number two is to coordinate so you have to coordinate with your people and other agencies that will be affected with your project okay so then Control and accomplish. So you have to control your uh, people, your manpower, your uh, resources, uh, your uh, let us say uh, equipments, uh, everything that is related to your projects. Okay, so these are the four uh, mission of a project manager. Okay, so if you completed this four mission. Uh, I think your project will be do uh, your project is doing well. Okay, so the worksheet. Okay, so this is the preliminary construction program needed by the project manager. So this is a, a paper or a document which uh, enlist all the activities and the things that the project manager needs to know. Okay. Okay, so these are the PM or project manager needs to know. So number one is the uh, logical construction 
uh, sequence. So, uh, in the worksheet, uh, the construction sequence is being laid. Okay, so we can uh, uh, see there the first activities that we need to complete. Okay, so the project mani uh, manager needs to know this one. Okay, so number two is the quantity and delivery of materials. Okay, so you need to know uh, because may, uh, maybe you will be asked by the owner when this activity or project uh, be completed, then uh, you cannot answer the question. So you need to know everything, especially the a quantity and delivery of materials, which is one of the major factor in completing your uh, project. Okay, so number three is the needed manpower. So who will be the one uh, to work with the activity and how many? Okay, so manpower you need. Okay, so number four is the start and complete uh, the job on time. Okay, so you need to know the start date and also the completion of the job. Okay, so there are things that, uh, uh, let us say, uh, projects that will encounter problems especially if we there is involved so you have to to document that one okay so if there are uh, maybe in the in the completion of project it will affect your uh, target completion date okay so first step in construction pre-planning is to prepare a graph and plotting of schedule okay so this is an example of a Gantt chart. Okay, so this is where the activities is uh, being laid. Example, groundwork, so you have structural works, finishing works, electrical works, and mechanical uh, work. So if you observe, there are time scale or schedules here. So week 1, week 2, so until week 21. Okay, so if you are a project manager, you need to monitor this one daily so that you will know if uh, this activity will be completed on the week one, okay? Because if not, uh, it will cause a problem and delay of your project because it will uh, create a gap here in the, in the schedule, okay? Or let us say your schedule will be instead of week one, it will go to week two okay so it will be longer so you will be experiencing delay of the project if you encounter this one next is timetable okay so timetable is a schedule or something to take place at a particular time so you let us say if excavation you need to Finish that one for three days. So, three days is the schedule for that activity. Okay, so the project manager or PM should conduct one or more informal session with key personnel. Okay, so let us say key personnel. These are the personnel who are uh, directly handling your projects. Okay, so uh, you can say that your personnel is key. Uh, if you observe that uh, if they are not around or uh, they are absent, so will you will be having problem or uh, they are the one handling the important jobs or activities. Okay, so during the session, worksheet is reviewed to determine if the schedule is met. Okay, okay, see so this is where the timetable uh, enters, guys. So you need to uh, monitor. Okay, so 3 does 5. Okay, so project engineers review. Uh, if we are handling project, especially on site, we are project engineer, uh, we have to review everything. Okay, so the project one, uh, project engineer must, number one, review the timetable thoroughly. Okay, so you have to withdraw your schedule, guys. Okay, so you cannot take that one, uh, that one for granted because that will be your guide in completing your project. Okay, so number two, you have to raise uh, questions on its overall logic and workability. Okay, so number three, offer constructive uh, criticism on detailed work functions and interrelated uh, activities. 
Okay, so if you are kuan, if you are totally monitoring your project, uh, these uh, items can be detected. So number one, the possible budget man are overruns. Number two, the craft peaks. Number three, the weakness, the weakness in supervision uh, coverage. Number four is the inadequ inadequacy of tools and equipment, meaning you are lacking of tools and equipment equipment which are the hindrance of the completion of your project. So, if you are monitor, uh, monitoring your project, you will know that you are lacking of, a, let us say, uh, you have no uh, concrete cutter. Okay? So, like that one. So, you cannot finish the job because you don't have the tools. Okay? Or jackhammer. Okay? In uh, a demolishing a concrete. So, you need a uh, jackhammer. Okay, so a daily look at the graph alerts the project manager to possible needed actions. Okay, so if you are constantly reviewing your uh, schedule, this can be uh, this can be seen. Okay, so you can alert your project manager. Okay, so number one, the manpower reallocation for elaborate rescheduling. The number two, you have to determine whether extra manpower or to shift operation may be necessary. Uh, maybe this one is you need to to work overtime just to complete your activity or the uh, project okay then uh, discussions and review of construction problems at the site okay so if you are constantly checking your schedule you can discuss uh, discuss the, uh, that one on the site okay so number one alternate solutions may be reviewed okay so if you are constantly uh, reviewing, uh, you you can uh, you can you can generate uh, solutions to the problems. Okay, so number four, uh, exchanging ideas for a better solution. Okay, so you have to call uh, people on site, especially uh, let us say the personnel who are directly doing the job. Okay, you can call them and ask for ideas because they are the one uh, working. Okay, so number three is to implement results as agreed okay okay so okay so we will continue 3-6 guys in our next uh, video the uh, learning session this is 3 that's 2 so 3-6 will be uh, will be on the second part of this video okay so because we are now on the 17th minute mark Okay, so thank you guys for listening and I hope you continue to watch my uh, video so that uh, we will learn more in the project construction and management. Okay, so thank you.